Well, some of the best high school basketball players in the Southeast were in Wilmington this weekend for the Carolinas Classic All-Star Game. Let's start with the girls game. East Bladen's Patty Evers coaching the North Carolina team. They got off to a really good start. Kendall Moore pulling the trigger from way downtown and North Carolina led three zip. But South Carolina can shoot the basketball as well. That's Taylor Britt. A little stutter step and knocks down a 15 foot jumper. In the second half, no one could slow down North. Alexandra Scruggs, nice pass over the top to Elizabeth Kitley, and she lays it up and in. The girls was a monster on the low block. Tennessee commit to Mari Key lays it in off the glass. She was awarded game MVP as North Carolina wins it 80 to 59. This is the highlight of my career, and um, it's like I told the girls, you know, it's like um, if you've never won a state championship, which I haven't, um, this is your state championship. This is your last high school game, and you know, this, this is something special, and they played so good, and it's been a great three days. Way to go, girls. Let's go on to the boys game now. UNCW commit Amaje Dodd playing for Team North Carolina, and this game had fireworks from the get-go, folks. Off the missed three, Justin McCoy, the putback slam. South Carolina says we got some high flyers as well, though. Off the steal ahead, Asante Price, and he throws down the one-headed jam in transition. North trying to stay in the game in the second half. Dodd showing off some of his skills, hits the reverse layup through the double team. This man was on fire for South Carolina, though. Trey Jackson, the third, with a hand in his face, hits the three. He finished with a Carolina's classic record, 36 points on th eight three-pointers, folks. As South wins it, 129-117. Uh, the overall weekend went good. You know, there's a lot of talent that came down this weekend um, that I got to compete against. And um, it was just a fun experience. And, and I, I love the people down here. Very nice. Now we all look forward to seeing him in the UNCW colors.